gonna aim the camera down on him a little bit. Ready? Go. Fuck it up. Huh. All right, whatever. I'll fix it more later. But I'm um, starting on Fountain. Interesting choice. Usually, I would say this stage is uh, definitely in Falco's favor. But if Emo Dino feels pretty good about it, then uh, we'll see what he can work out. All right, going for the Thunders combo. At that point, Falco's just way too high percent, though, and the Shine actually caught him when he was above him, so it knocked him back too far to get the combo off. Wow. Yeah, great reaction with that up smash. Also, don't apologize. I tend to, like, have a really bad habit of talking over my co-commentators, so just, just like, talk over me if I do that by accident. <laughs> if you're going to say something, just keep saying it. So I apologize. Shine, shine. Yes. Ooh, Mike Miller. Oh, Mike Miller. Oh, hits. See what I mean? His punish game is like so hard hitting. Yeah. He wants to hit you with the strong hitboxes and with the strong punishes and just like hurt you. It was perfect though because he yeah. went for combo moves when Emo Dinosaur was DI'ing in and then he went for F Smash when Emo Dinosaur was DI'ing out. Yeah, that was a pretty good mix up. Far out. Oh, oh Mike Miller throwing the stocks away. Looking like me last game. <laughs> uh, that's a shame. Right. It's all good for the for you to learn. I think the first shot you picked up the hitbox. So far, I think this uh, pick has been working out good for Emo Dino. Uh, I think Mike mainly actually prefers stage with, stages with a lot of uh, horizontal room, so maybe things like Pokemon and Dreamland versus something like Fountain. What do you think of Falco Fox FD? Um, I would say it's in Fox's favor on that stage, but it's honestly so close that, like, at this level of gameplay, it's, it doesn't make a huge difference. I've heard that from a lot of people, but I always feel better as Falco on that stage. Oh, yeah? Falco combos. Yeah, I mean, most of the time with Spacey do does, it's really just a feel thing, and, you know, more so than, like, the ideal on paper if we both played, like, perfect. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Wow. Okay, that and did the, the trick. <laughs> I think Mike Mealy wanted to go in to avoid an edge guard, and Emo Dino flubbed a <laughs> drop down back air or something, so gets it done with the very slow getup. Well, Mike missed the back air because he was a. Best of five? Is it loser's quarters? I need to see the bracket to know for sure. All right, the word from Betch Guy is that this is a best of five set. So how do you feel overall today about the way you played? Uh, I feel standard. I, I, I feel like I've done this one of those things. I feel bad again. If my match gets Dutch, I beat him like two or three stocks in game one, and then I just got bopped in game two and three. Yeah, that happens. According to Evo Dinosaur, I was doing really unsafe pressure. Yeah. Right. Oh know, just kind of working his way around Mike Melee. It seems like he's like running weird circles around him, and Mike Melee's just not sure what to do. Traded uh, his favorite. Yeah. Emo Dino's always had a very good uh, lateral game. Very good dash dancing. Very good mix-ups. When he plays Falco, he always has good lateral movement with his lasers, and he's always good at um, identifying openings and choosing when to go in. So. Wow. <laughs> We are not 40 seconds in, and Mike Melee has lost. Oh my god. Nearly, that's it. Oh, oh god. I blinked, it and it was over. It hurts. I blinked, and it was over. It 42 hurts. seconds. 41 seconds. 41 seconds. It oh hurts. my lord. Mike Melee, Mike Melee, look at me, Mike Melee. You've been banned from stream. I'm sorry. I just I just informed Mike Melee that. I think he wants to go to FD. I always go to FD. Oh my god. Shout out to all the swords in chat. You guys are all pretty great people, to be honest. Um, Alright, let's see if Mike Melee can make this room work. I, I really don't know why he went Yoshi's, you know? At the, at the end of that last game, I was saying, you know, he really, like, uh, excels on these stages where he has more room. And he took the disadvantage he had on Fallon and amplified it by going to Yoshi's. So, let's see if this works out more for him. Then again, I think Koji prefers this kind of stage too. So, I don't know. Koji has said that in the past that Yoshi's is his favorite story. So. so, as a Falco player, what's your approach to this matchup? Do you play, tend to play pretty defensive, or do you try and get that one big opening and really maximize it? I always go for the one big opening. Yeah. I always, because if you shine a spacey as Falco, if you play correctly, you should be able to get like 60%. That was, that was, got, like, that was good conversion. That was like the ideal punisher. Yeah. Alright, good stuff. Very quick move, he got just the right hitbox and he got the hard punishing on it. So. 
I think this is the first time Mike Maley's had a lead in this set. Well, no, it's not. I guess he's kind of going back and forth. There's only one time that I played defensive in this matchup. That's when what Emo Dice was doing right then. If they, if Fox just keeps on the platforms, I'll just try to yeah. stay back some laser because um, Falcon can fall down and move the barrel really easy. Yeah. I mean, Fox can fall down the barrel really easy. Okay. Falcon excels when when they're in horizontal position with laser. I just want to point out Emo Dinosaur's use of shine this game. He's had very well spaced shines, very good pressure, and he kind of weaves in and out with his pressure. So he goes in and jumps there. out. Yeah. He uses the platforms and falls down. Yeah, he's used that approach quite a bit. And there it is again. That's how you have to for a dash attack next up. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, working out so far. Oop, that's about to could cost him big time. Emo Dino trying to extend it with an effort. I've seen a lot of pro players using that lately, and all these friendlies that uh, Mango and Leffin have been playing lately. I'm seeing new stuff from the FR that I didn't know was possible, so. FR is crazy, dude. Yeah. PB started doing it against floaties, and then, you know, Mango's been doing it more against uh, spaces lately, so it's really quite impressive to watch. <laughs> Mike Melee got a weak hit for once, which I don't usually see out of him. Trying to shield all these dudes. Oh, uh, that's a just off on his laser game there, yeah. And F tilt might have done it for him. Here's uh, the thanks for reminding me to update the scores, Dutch guy. I'll do that. He's full hop dares. I feel like he's full hopping so that if he tries, if um, Mike Bailey comes from like a shiner area of a shield, it's not gonna hit him. Nemo Dino's got the lead back. Is this gonna be a free out? Ooh, good I felt like it was gonna be an S smash. I was, I was very wrong. It's so interesting. I don't think I've ever seen like Melee do like a weak hit DI mix up or like a tilt even. <laughs> Just, man, this man doesn't hold back. See, see. Oh, drops it. Right, that was pretty good. Was it was nice, but I always want to get 60% more. Oh my goodness, the F smash off the next tech. Emo Dinosaur must have picked up on something. Oh, it's looking bad for Mike Melee. Tries to cover the high option with Mike Ops for that. For the Rising the Shadow. Hard read. I guess that's kind of the Rising <laughs> Shadow of Fox if you uh, That's like the Rising Shadow mixed with the Jeffrey, really. Oh, that's it. it feels weird hearing you guys use my name like that. <laughs> Do you mind it? No, I think it's really funny, actually. Right, that's good. I actually think it's really funny. If, if we. If we ever play a joke at someone's expense and it actually makes them upset, you know, that's no good. But if, if everyone can have a laugh over it, then that's, that's, that's cool. All right.